Today on Geek Smart, we're going to do a setup of a new product and I'm going to go a little bit more in depth than a traditional setup because while I'm going to do a full review on my TechCoot channel and kind of do a deep dive into this product, today we're main, mainly setting it up, but I did want to go into why you might want to heavily look at something like this. This is EcoGeek. Welcome back to TechCoots, ladies and gentlemen, and today we're looking at the EcoCube from EcoSense. Now, I want to give a little bit of a background to this before we actually start setting it up, and I'm going to do a very deep dive on my TechCoots channel that's going to go more in depth of really why you want this more than anything else. However, I do want to actually, before we preemptively shoot the actual setup video, kind of mention why this is one of those products that... I really wanted to show on this channel. Now, first of all, EcoSense actually sent this to me. I, I actually contacted them. I actually had a nice uh, live meeting with them over the web. Um, we did a little back and forth discussion about the product, about you know what I wanted to get out of this, um, to see the interest and things like that. And they were gracious enough to allow me to do this video and show you guys this product. And I am very excited about this because this actually is one of those things, it's really about the health of everybody. Uh, radon, which this is a intelligent radar detector that you place in, well, typically your basement or any part of your home that you want to be able to sense uh, the presence, or I should say, how much radar is present in that environment. Um, radon gas actually is the second leading cause of lung cancer, here in the United States at least. Uh, the number one being smoking cigarettes and then radon. And so if you're a non-smoker, radon is your leading cause if you should get lung cancer, it's, it's a good bet that it may have been at least a contributing factor to it. Even a contributing factor to people that actually smoke. Because radon is constantly present in the air that you breathe. It's from the de decay in the soil around you, specifically from like uranium, small particles that decay down. Radon itself only has like a half-life of three and a half days, but because there is tons of radioactive isotopes, specifically like uranium, in the soil, that break down into the radon gas eventually. Um, it's gonna be for us, with us for as long as we're gonna be alive. But the big thing about radon is it's odorless, it's tasteless. You cannot tell you actually are breathing in it. I'm probably breathing in some right now. It's also one of the larger, uh, the leading cause of how much radio or background radiation you absorb into your body every year. Yeah, you go to get your x-ray at the doctor and everything, which is kind of a one-time thing. Or when you go to the dentist. But radon is one of those things that you're constantly breathing in and out, and you're absorbing those radioactive particles into your body in very, 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 very small doses at any time, but over time that builds up. Um, so, yeah. Something like this, this radon detector, gives you a visual aid to see how much radon is actually in your home. The big thing about the EcoCube from EcoSense is that it is an extremely accurate way to detect radon gas. Not only is it being able to pick up smaller amounts, so <clears throat> more trace amounts of it, but it is, uh, it gives you a much faster result. Now, I remember when I was a kid, when my parents were selling one of our homes, um, they, uh, the buyers were asking about radon and my parents had to get a radon detector and place it in there and they had to do this multi-day event. This guy here will give you actually your first result within 10 minutes and it'll give you a 95% accurate result within an hour. So the capability of this is fantastic. I'm really looking forward to showing you this. I'm not gonna really get into the results on this video. This is sure about showing you what comes in the box and setting it up like we typically do on GeekSmart. So we're gonna set this guy up right now. And see how what she looks like and see what she comes with. Okay, so here's the box right here. We can actually see that they did receive a 2021 Innovation Award uh, for CES for this product. Look, this is one of those products, the reason I actually reached out to them is that I think it, it is one of those things that most people should have in their home, specifically if you're in a high radio uh, high radon area, if you know that for sure. Uh, just kind of gives you some information, maybe some technical specifications here on the back. Uh, and I will put links to the top of the description where you can go to their website and actually take a peek at um, the information that they have on there on the product so uh, i have not opened it i have not seen it but we're gonna do that together right now all right so we slip off the, the box we have a nice manual here that we can kind of go through and kind of gives you information it looks like there all right the, wow that sensor is small 
Let me grab the bag. That is a lot smaller than I even thought. I thought it was going to be pretty close to the size of the box. Apparently, I am wrong. That is nice and small. They are still using a micro USB here on the back. Um, look, I always point out things. That should be USB-C. My opinion, but, you know, there we go. So nice and small there. Does come with a USB adapter that plugs into the wall. Obviously, you don't have to use this if you already have a USB port on the wall or so. And then it does give you a small USB, uh, micro USB cord. Let's see how long it is. Um, you know, it's a four footer, three, four footer. Yeah, I would say about four feet. Yeah, maybe three feet, three foot cord. So that's what comes with it. Let's see if there's anything else in the box here. Does not look like there's anything else that comes with it. So that's what we have for the product in the box. Doo -doo -doo. Let's take a peek at all uh, well, the instructions, I guess. These two pages here really give you the gist of it. This kind of gives you the information on the LED light power point. There's a QR code on the bottom and a reset button. And then the airlets are actually on the bottom of the machine. Over here, it actually gives us the quite instructions of basically we need to down, we need to plug it into the power and then download the app, register the account, uh, account through the app, and then just follow the instructions in the app. So let's go ahead and download the app. While we're downloading the app, I'm going to go ahead. I've, I got this plugged into power. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the unit. You know, see we're in light. So I'm going to go ahead and just set that back there while we get the app set up. Okay, so I've just done a quick EcoSense search, which the second one down is the EcoCube by EcoSense. Um, I downloaded that. Let's hit open. Let's see if we can't get this guy set up. I'd like to send you notifications. I'm going to hit allow on that. Now, I do not have an account, so I'm going to hit sign up. And now it's going to ask for my email, password, and then confirm that password. And then you'll hit the create my account. Let me do that quick. And then hit create my account. They sent a verification to my email. So now I gotta check my, my email essentially and get that verification code and put it in there. Give me a second. So I put in my verification code, hit click to verify. And my email now has been successfully verified. I'm hit okay. Intelligent radar detector. Now we actually have it ready to go. I guess let's hit login. I'll log in with my email and password. Email address, password put in, hit login. EagleCube would like to access the camera. I'm gonna hit okay with that. Now I'm going to have to use, it's going to ask if you'd like to use Bluetooth. I'm okay with that. We have to scan the barcode that's on the bottom. Let's do that quick. So it already has the camera pulled up. So I'm just going to flip it over and scan that barcode. Let's see here. There we go. Scan the barcode just fine. Now we are setting up your device, device name and location. Device name, I'm just going to call it EcoCube. And then when you hit uh, lo device location address, it'll actually bring up where you put in your actual physical address. So I had go ahead and put in that. Hit next. Now it's going to have to connect, or it's connecting to Wi-Fi. It should already have that from my uh, thing. But there we are. We'll hit uh, my Schuster, and then I'll have to put in password. All right, my Wi-Fi password is had, had, uh, entered and hit connect. Now it should send that information off to the EcoCube itself via Bluetooth, I'm assuming. And then it'll connect to Wi-Fi directly. We'll see if actually the lights change. Right now it's still blinking amber. I'll bring it over here. Kind of see that. So we'll see if... Uh, the lights change. EcoCube is, yep, there we go. We just went green. Successfully connected to Wi-Fi. We'll hit OK. Measuring in progress, which obviously hasn't been 10 minutes yet, but uh, we'll give it time. We are now fully set up. The dashboard will, will probably update automatically once data comes in. Um, data not available. First data is available after two hours, it says. But we'll give it time, and uh, we'll just let it do its thing. But we are fully set up, so I can't wait to show you guys and do the and uh, have you transfer over to the TechCooch video where we'll have the more in-depth information. So that is the full setup of the EcoCube from EcoSense. Um, essentially, this little guy here, I'm just gonna let it go, and that's a simple. Once you have it set up, now you can actually connect it for t you know access it from your phone. You'll be able to access it from anywhere uh, because it all goes up to the EcoSense. Uh, basically to the cloud to, through Wi-Fi. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how well it works, how, how much data I'm able to actually pull out of this. And then if nothing else, I get to see how healthy my home is to see what kind of mitigation I may or may not have to do. Um, and that's the thing about radon. You don't know until you actually have something that tells you you can't tell otherwise. It could be a brand new house 
or it could be a 100-year-old house, and you have no idea how well or how good the quality of air is in retrospects to rate on. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, EcoSense. Now, I will be posting this at the same time as my Tech Gooch video this time. So if you would like to see how this actually ended up at the end of this video or down below in the description, I'm going to have links where it'll take you right off to the other video on my other channel that's gonna have the deep dive into everything. And then I'm actually gonna go show you exactly what has going on here. And if there's mitigation steps that I'm gonna have to take here in the near future, I'm gonna talk about them in that. If there isn't, or if I'm on the edge, this is the time that I'm gonna find out the house that I live in how good the air quality is, at least in retrospects to radon gas. So, thank you for watching here at GeekSmart. Make sure you step on over to TechGooch to watch the second part of this series of videos. So, thank you for watching. Again, thank you EcoSense for allowing me to do this video, or I guess this pair of videos, and I'm looking forward to, to seeing what my air quality is. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time on GeekSmart. See you soon.